Lots of men died under that flag. That American flag was everywhere. Jomot carried it into battle, but it was everywhere. <laughs> in the mess hall, in the dance hall. <laughs> we had a great big mess hall, and they would bring all the women in from town, and we'd have what's a great big old dance. And you'd look up behind the bandstand, and there was that flag. <laughs> oh, that flag was everywhere. You saw it in the morning when you woke up. You saw it at night when you went to bed. Sometimes you even saw it in your sleep. <laughs> yeah. When the uh, time come, I saw Joe Mart fall with that flag. Shot him right through the head. Bullet went in one end and come out the other. I don't know where it went after that. When I saw him fall, I said, no. Oh, no. I, I can't let you get away with nothing like that. That's what I said when I picked up that flag. I said, no, 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 no. I can't let you get away with nothing like that. That's the flag on this side of the battle. That's the side I'm on. Joe Mott ain't died for nothing. If his life didn't mean nothing, then my life don't mean nothing. I had sense enough to see that. A lot of people can't see that. I just can't let him lay there and die. And the flag just lay there. Well, I was the closest one to it. I didn't even hesitate. I just reached down and picked it up. I picked it up and I carried it all the way to the day of my discharge. December 4th, 1945. <laughs> when I got out to war, I went and saw Joe Mott's mother. She lived down in Georgia. I went down there and saw her. I was walking down the street and the white fella stopped me. Reached up and tore my flag off my coat. Told me I didn't have no right to walk around with an American flag. I hope they let you keep yours.